Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to another September 11th Twin Towers video. This is just uh, something I wanted to kind of explore here. No real story today, just me thinking out loud on the Twin Towers and specifically the collapse of both of the towers. I'm mainly going to focus on the South Tower considering the scenario, which would be being in the lobby of the South Tower because it is confirmed that there were a lot of firefighters within the lobby of the South Tower. Could you hypothetically, if you hear the building collapse above you, because if you look at the way both of the towers collapsed, you would think, and maybe I got this wrong, but, but I believe that hypothetically, I mean, the, the lobby should be intact right until the end, just the way the building collapsed. It's not like the lobby would collapse right away like the ceiling. Obviously, as the floors pancake on top of each other, it would eventually get totally destroyed, and it did, and you still had the tridents up, but the entire lobby was totally decimated, and there's really no way to survive outside of maybe if there was like an underground, well, I guess there was an underground area. Like, imagine running into the underground area shopping mall because of the way it was connected that would be crazy if somebody actually was able to do that and survive because you would have total safety under there as the building was collapsing and then the other thought is you know the two people that escaped two of the last people that escaped the south tower were told at the lobby level to just run out of the building could potentially the firefighters or anyone in the south tower escape the lobby as the building is collapsing so as they hear it collapsing would that be possible or would this be something to where number one just based on how fast the building collapsed it would be impossible to get far enough away from all the falling debris to where you could actually outrun it and survive or you also have to factor in it's very confusing you just hear another explosion you really don't know the building is collapsing i mean obviously everybody in that lobby level of the south tower they had no clue that it was going to collapse. Otherwise, they would be nowhere near that area. So they had thought that, the, I guess, there was the buildings were both stabilized. And that's why the firefighters were going in to try and attempt to rescue people. And the sad thing is with the South Tower, based on the phone conversation that Brian Clark had with the 911 operator, he had said or made an inkling that they got down through a stairwell you know, above the impact zone or right on the impact zone. So they could have potentially been given that information. And if the building could have remained up for another two hours, they could have made it up to that stairwell A, the only stairwell that did remain within either of the Twin Towers, just one of six. The other five were totally blown out and impassable. Would, you know, they be potentially be able to, because they know that stairwell is okay, rescue a bunch of people from the upper floors of the South Tower and save potentially... 70, 80, maybe over 100 rather than just like the 14 people that were uh, able to use that South Tower stairwell and get down. So that's another interesting thing to think about. But the reason I'm not going to talk about the North Tower is because obviously at, at a certain point, you know, once the South Tower collapses, the North Tower, as far as I'm aware of, was totally deserted. There is that interior famous photo of the North Tower with just dust everywhere and that like sun shining through the tridents, but it's so dimmed out because of just all the dust and fragments in the air and it just looked totally deserted. I guess there was, considering somebody took a photo in there, there was one person in the North Tower after the South Tower collapsed, the lobby area I'm talking about. And I wonder like what, what it actually looked like outside. Like if you look out of the tridents and a lot of the tridents were blown out of the North Tower, but obviously the North Tower was a different situation because they knew once the South Tower fell, they needed to evacuate the North Tower. Although, because it was such a, a crazy situation, a lot of the firefighters didn't even get the memo that the South Tower had collapsed and that they needed to leave, unfortunately. I mean, imagine you're in the North Tower and you're a firefighter on like floor 54 going up to the impact zone. They had to go up so high attempting a rescue or even to put out the fires it's basically impossible it's it's due to how high really both of the impact holes were but mainly the north tower you're going to be dragging up a hose in the stairwell 85 90 floors and, and then maybe getting water onto the areas i think you just have to let it burn out if the building had not collapsed but in general imagine here's a hypothetical you're a firefighter on floor 50 and you look out the window and you see just all of this smoke and you instantly know that the South Tower collapses. How fast do you run down? Because the elevators are unusable. Actually, there was a rumor that one elevator was still working. I don't know if there's the North or South Tower. That might not be a real rumor, but 
you would have to very likely, I mean, you're not going to chance it going in an elevator. Imagine the thing gets stuck and you, you know, the South Tower collapse, that would be terrible. But I mean, how fast would you run down those stairs to try and get out of that building? Because at that point, you know, the building is, is very likely going to collapse. Basically the exact same thing happened to it just at a higher point. That would be a crazy scenario. But I mean, if you look at both of the buildings collapse, the other thing you think about is technically like looking at the North Tower, I believe like the windows on the world restaurant and those upper floors or like the South Tower indoor observation deck would wouldn't those floors like still be intact all the way until the end because obviously the impact zone it collapses at the impact zone that's where it's weakest but the top of the building it does not pancake on itself or or I don't know maybe it does I'm not sure on the physics on that but but I think it stays intact until it comes tumbling all the way down and then it it pancakes when it basically hits the ground. That would be the observation deck. That would be the windows on the world restaurant. It's crazy how high that restaurant was like floor 107. And for like a millisecond, it was basically at ground level. Well, I mean, I, I don't know if it would still be intact at ground level, but obviously when it in, impacts the ground, that's when I think it completely got destroyed and just totally demolished, obviously. But maybe for like a split second, the windows on the world restaurant was like at ground level, uh, a restaurant that normally is like 107 floors in the air. That was just another interesting thing, thing to think about. Not that it matters. Nobody would really be able to diagnose that because it, it lasted for, you know, a millisecond. But I don't know. I just thought that was interesting if that is a thing. And then you look at the roof. You know, I was seeing an interesting angle of the North Tower collapse. It was from the water. I hadn't seen it before, but this was like three or four months ago. And... I originally thought I saw the antenna like fly off of the tower and onto like right next to one of the buildings, but it wasn't the antenna, it was debris. But uh, imagine the antenna, what happened to that? I wonder when the antenna got destroyed totally, probably when it hit, it might've been the last thing remaining that was still, you know, not destroyed. For, I mean, I guess the stairwell did remain, the one stairwell, people actually survived in it crazy enough. Uh, but that's like the last thing that was, fully, you know, un unaffected was the antenna because it was the final thing that fell. It was at the absolute tippy top point on the roof and the South Tower was already totally destroyed. The North Tower, all of the rooms, all of the floors were pancaked on top of each other. And it would be crazy to see like, an, like it's impossible because of all the smoke. You're not gonna be able to see it, but like see the physics and the in an interior shot of the towers, the way in which they collapsed, like in the plaza like a plaza view of the way they collapsed. But even then, you really wouldn't be able to see it because it would just be all smoke. But uh, either way, those are just some interesting things I, I wanted to talk about. I would say if you're in the South Tower, imagine you start hearing it, oh, like a giant roar and you try and run. There's just no way you would have time to run out of that building. You would have to try and go down into the shopping mall. That would be better. Try and get under there, get some actual like that's good cover too. You go underground, even though the shopping mall in that area did get, I mean, there were, there was definitely damage to it for sure. There were areas in which the ceiling had totally caved in, but there were a lot of surviving areas, you know, in the parking garage, although the parking garage, there were several cars that caught on fire, like the underground parking garage right next to the Marriott and both of the towers. Uh, but either way, just some interesting things to think about when it comes to the Twin Towers. Guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.